All right, I can clearly, I can't get the words out this morning. So bear with me. We're going, <laughs> we are going to remodel. Actually, we're not even remodeling. We are gonna finish this pondless waterfall for this couple and we are gonna get started now because I'm done talking. All right, the canvas we are working on today is out in Queen Creek, Arizona, and what we are gonna be doing is a pondless waterfall right here. Now, what's going on, uh, the homeowner attempted to do it himself and just got to the point to where it didn't know what to do next. One thing that is not in those instruction manuals on doing those small waterfall projects is how far you can run that stream and still have enough water storage for your vault. So this guy, this vault is meant for a very, very small, short waterfall. This is about uh, 12 feet away and it uh, ultimately would be a problem for the homeowner. So we are coming in, we're pulling this out and we are putting in a pondless pump vault and some aqua blocks and uh, some liner. And we are going to come back to this point and have a cool little meander pointing towards the back master bedroom and also towards the, the back windows of the house. So what we are going to do is wipe the slate clean and get started. Jaron, are you ready? Okay. One thing that I hate doing is undoing somebody's attempts. Now, look at th this is a good size boulder. This thing is like three and a half, four feet wide, and it is staged up. They had an idea in mind what they wanted to do, and it took four people to get that boulder up on that rock. Jaron, you know what we're going to do with that thing? We're going to use that and in one fail swoop, make it go away. Now making some progress. Uh, Jaron is working on the, uh, the foot excavation. So you see how this uh, pump vault has uh, kind of a, a, a boot shape to it. The pump sits on the inside. This is the lowest point. And then the aqua blocks actually sit on top of the foot like that. And then they're nice and level at the top. So that pump sits at the very lowest point and then when the system is operating, we just have just enough water covering the pump that's living down in there to keep things in motion. So now we've got this excavation down at about seven inches lower than the, the bottom for the aqua blocks. And then we can put our fabric and liner and more fabric in there and uh, start working our way up and out of this hole. Okay, so we have got our excavation all complete. Uh, obviously the hole is bigger than what we need. And uh, we are just going to drop in our fabric and liner. And when we backfill, we are not gonna backfill completely because what I wanna do is build a shelf around the front of this. The nature of this project, they wanna see some pooling water at the bottom. So a couple things that we're gonna do in backfilling and putting our rock work in will allow that to uh, look really cool. Alrighty, 
So we are setting some rocks now. Jaron is bringing over more boulders so we have our selection nearby. And I'm not happy with some of this. So I'm gonna rip it out and start over. Here we are, morning number two, fresh start. Uh, we got tons of rain last night and starting to rain on us again right now. Uh, but on the plus side, our material is not sitting in water and uh, those trees are. So we don't have to worry about uh, going over there. We've got uh, a nice little path going to our trailer right there. We'll be able to get to our gravel and we've got a clean canvas to work with. Uh, the rain actually helped wash the boulders off. So that's nice, right, Blake? Oh, hey, Blake's back. <laughs> here we are final day we are going to have this thing all wrapped up so we've got all of our edging in the front all complete uh, we've just got to do some bibbing and uh, right now we're working on the uh, boulder croppings that uh, will finish off the back of it and hold in that uh, that liner and the spillway so the customer had a specific rock picked out that they wanted on top of that spillway because they want to put a statue piece on top of that. Blake, you want to flip that liner over so we can see that? So we've got a nice flat boulder. We just got to level it out just a little bit, but then we're taking these boulders, these taller boulders and creating uh, a barrier around that so we can backfill with dirt and some gravel, dress that up, and then kind of float that dirt out this way. So we'll have that built up, do this edging, and let the water flow. Right, guys so we are all done what do you think about this I love this location just this uh, corner section of the patio this water feature fits perfectly I really like the uh, the retaining wall of boulders over here we had to keep a little bit of a space right here so any kind of rainfall will rush right out that way but the different elevations the planting opportunities that looks beautiful and the falls, just a nice subtle waterfall off this back patio, producing a beautiful sound, not overwhelming for the space. Now, one of the falls I really love is this guy right here. I could just already envision birds and butterflies coming and getting a drink right off that real shallow uh, rock. And that the way that rock is kind of slightly tilted It'll be really easy for them to walk up and get a drink of water without having to get in the water and getting rushed away with that current. So we've also got lights in here. Got uh, some spotlights here shining up. We've got another spotlight here shining at that little horsetail fall. And then another spotlight here shining up at that sheet. So that's gonna look beautiful at nighttime. In our pump vault, we've got a Aquascape 3PL pump. So it's pushing about 3,000 gallons per hour. And the nice thing about this thing, when it turns off, 
all that water will subside, disappear, and store in the vault below ground. That way there's no standing stagnant water to attract mosquitoes and to grow algae. This is a really, really simple system to care for and to have. All right, guys, that's it for us on this project. Let me know what you thought. Put those comments down below. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.